Hello, this is Yellow Hobo, and uh, got some bad news. I was gonna record uh, onto the old episode of the Guild Three, but we did uh, have a update with the game, so we're starting a new. Uh, I'm gonna make this a little bit more fast-paced this time around. Uh, we're going a little bit different. We're going to go for an Orchardist. Um, pretty much all the same. I guess we can pick a flag real quick. Here will be a will be an oat. <laughs> I think that's an oat. Actually, oats a no nope not an oat. Dang it! I don't know. Y'all tell me in the comments. Anyways, let's get this going. So we're doing a typical start right here, just getting these bouquets done up. I think we can only make two, so we'll make the two, and then we will give them to the character. Oh wait a minute, it's not up there. It's down here. Silly me. And I'll show you where we're building it. Here's our hut right here. We're gonna find us someone to get married to and then we will uh, get that going. Well, we're about to tie the knot with uh, Laisha. Laetitia. I don't, I don't know. L-A-E-T-I-T-I-A. <laughs> so let's see what this is all about. I guess they, they put new actions in there so you gotta get engaged first. Then you gotta get married. Luckily, we're really close to getting married. Welcome to the house of God. What can Mother Church do for you today? Church wedding costs 250 bucks. All right. The wedding's taking place. I guess, I guess she got cold feet. <laughs> oh, oh, she came. We actually got to answer yes now. Yeah. There you go. And you, do you wish to take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to love and honor till death do you part? So answer me. Yes. Yes. Oh, so, so nervous so that she was going to say no. Ooh, fancy bow. Good job, yellow. That curtsy needs some work. <laughs> oh, we got some fertility. Plus 4% excellent genes, too. Heck yeah. I don't know what that means, but we got it. Guess let's get on up out of here. All right, we got pregnant before the day was up. Big difference with this playthrough is uh, <clears throat> we have three three year uh, go throughs, so we'll be marching on through. Just wanted to make it a little bit faster pace, and she was born. Heck yeah, perfect. So let's get this going. Actually, let's let's change the name here. There you go. Got some good brains on the shoulder and everything. Slow it down and I'm gonna catch y'all up whenever I get a little bit more progressed. Second, <laughs> well, on um, six years now. So uh, we're gonna name this one Cecilia. We've already uh, changed up some of the tactics. We're actually making pretty good money right now. I was thinking about getting the commoner one already, but maybe hold off just a little bit more we got some good stock already. Got our apples up. Mainly, we're selling a lot more, um, I think it's cider than fruit juice, but it's not too bad. Fruit juice doesn't really make a good profit, but it takes three of these, but we go collect these uh, fruit baskets. Um, and this only takes one. But, I mean, either way, making pretty good profit. We did get into a bind where I just had to take some cider and sell it, but. Right now, our business is doing pretty good on the front of money. We're almost caught up to our expenses already, and we already got some building upgrades too, so that's always a major plus. 
So I'll get back to it. All right, so we finally claimed our new title. Someone else got their title as well. Um, we're trucking along. Just had a little bit of problems, but finally got it figured out. I couldn't do it the way I was doing it the last time, so I had to actually say, hey, you do this job, you do that job, and you do this job permanently. Uh, the loop was not working just because the apples were, like, <laughs> they would grab them whenever I needed them sometimes, and sometimes they would not. Uh, our main revenue right now is probably honey, which is only selling for six, but he has a bag. Is it six? Yeah, I think it's six. But he has a bag so he can get 60 at a time and whenever I only have him set for 60, so I hired her uh, to get us some more. Uh, basically, it's just working out pretty good. I might need to actually set him up to where he gets a full load, though instead of running back and forth, but we'll get that figured out. So as of right now, we're a little low on money, but we did just get up to uh, Yeoman, about to do Something Resident. Like uh, we did level up the or Orchard uh, to level two. That makes it to where we can actually make or gather blueberries and make rock candies, which sell for quite a bit more than what we've been selling for. And blackberry jam, which is still a better profit. I mean, two blackberries, they don't take very long to acquire. Um, and then we got a good surplus of, uh, you know, fruits right now. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're up to a 1,000 influence already. That's just from passive influencing. <laughs> but anyways, we're going to continue on. So, as you can see, we have made a killing so far. We're up five grand on this. Plus, that's not like we've spent 8,800 just on upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, we're about ready for the next title. All right. We're almost citizen. Hasn't taken too long. It was a little slow starting until I figured out what sold best on this. So if you're ever playing this, you know, on Impossible, the easiest thing to do, because I thought... Oh, get get the fruit and then make a cider. This sells for a little bit less than that, but co like takes way less of the fruits, right? So all you do is two people on fruit gathering, one person making fruit juice. Even if they don't buy it at your place, you can still sell it for eleven in towns. That's pretty pretty good in my in my opinion. And uh, once you get up to rock candies, rock candies sell so fast. <laughs> like, look at this place, Suburb. Has 115 quantities, still buying them for 77. Crazy, right? So, and then these, they're just good passive stuff, you know? Not too worried about it. We're just trying to get everything sold. So, yeah, we're doing really good right now. Having problems with our kiddos getting beat up right now. Might have to outfit them to uh, fight back, but other than that, we're still trucking along. All right, so I think we're about to go up to Citizen so we can actually get some some love up around all the other people. Then we're gonna go into Hospitality, and then that'll be setting up uh, pretty much trade routes to get um, grain sent to make alcohol and stuff like that. We could go into this, which would help out with that. Like all these help out, of course, because like you get your meat from here, from your cattle and stuff like that. Then you gotta make your butcher. <laughs> it's a long process, but we'll we'll get to it. All right, we finally got our heir married off, so now time to start making kids with her. All right, so we're building a new building. It's a windmill. Uh, we went ahead and went down this tree right here. I think we're going to do a baker first, and then we'll get into hospitality. Hospitality, if it's still the same way, is a little busted. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm going to get this all set up and then come back to you. So we got our first office for Council Guardian right now. Someone's trying to trade with me. They want to trade. Okay. They want to trade her for him. So she's, they're pretty much making an alliance here. 
without making an alliance, but then they're going to give me one of their sons, which I'm alright with. We're going to accept that up. Go to the family tree here. Get them busy. And then I will put him on a job. Family's getting a little big. Uh, Hamlin. Go ahead. We can try for this, but I don't think she's going to get it. 48%? We'll try. Might as well, right? Uh, my business is actually doing all right right now. We got it pretty upgraded. Um, we had to stock pretty much everything with our own money. So I'll show you how much that actually costs to do after this little season passes. All right, so uh, reputation my reputation has diminished, believe it or not. Uh, that's the wrong tab. We want the budget book. So, upfront cost, because we did a lot of upgrades too. We spent 14000 and we've made 4000 or so, roughly. But we'll catch up to this number shortly. I know it doesn't look good on paper now, but you have to invest in all the resources if you're going to do it the way I just did it. Because the easiest way to do it would be, like, instead of this, open up a croft, or, you know... Um, whatever this is called. Yeah, Croft. And then you can make your own barley and wheat. And then you can open this up and go down that line. Uh, but these do, the grain pap and the plant essence do sell for a lot. We are producing those. We just got to get our feet, like, feet on the ground. So we got 13 of these and they sell for, you know, buck 25. And these, like, these don't really cost a whole lot because it's just Bran and Rock Lily. Bran is only worth, like, 39 and you, we make it here with uh, barley and wheat. And then on top of that, like, we have plenty of barley and wheat. And then we have these two uh, flowers going, so whenever we do open the bakery, it will, um, it'll be successful right off the bat. So it's one of those things that we will have to uh, get... We will have to get this going as well at Croft. We don't really need to do fishing at all. The only reason we have to do fishing is get this open for the hospitality. And this is your last step right here. But, all right, uh, we're going to go one more round, and then whenever I come back, we'll probably call it after that. Well, uh, they just killed off my <laughs> main guy. That's very unfortunate. And my bodyguard. Yep, so that happened. So now all I got is my wife. Let's get old Jackass here. I guess this is about time that we uh, actually take care of business and run her over here. She's got to take over the family business. But first things first, we need to buy some armor and stuff like that. Where is she at? There you go. So I'll get this all fixed up. Sad day, sad day. Lost our starting people already. She died of like old age at least. So that's not a big deal there. Um, who do we want to make right hand now? I feel like we should hold off until Mario Bells is up there. My dog just decided to plow in from the outside like uh, Kramer. No big deal. Anyways, let's get this going again. Alright, so we're about to put a bakehouse down. The Wholesome Hill. Sure. We can probably put it right where this got burned down at. It's pretty close to the center here. If I can just get it just right. Yeah. So we're going to get this built up and uh, get it all set up. And it's going to look all nice and fancy. Been going for a pretty long while now, so I don't know. Man, they got a lot of destroyed buildings in here. Looks like a lot of crime's been going on. We need to get it up in the office because all the crime lords are up in the power right now. Because all the goody two-shoes like me were trying to, uh, you know, 
do it the right way, which I do have a playthrough coming on that will be doing it the crime way. And I'll show you how to get away with pretty much killing anybody, just like the people that killed me got away with it. So we're going to get into it. All right. So as of right now, uh, we're in 1445 in the winter, of course. And uh, Your reputation has increased. we're doing pretty good. Uh, we've been attacked several times now, so I've actually... Hey, probably natural cars, causes over here, huh? Yep, unfortunate. So we'll probably put this person on gathering. Actually, we'll just put him back on brand. Or not brand, rock candy. Um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we are on the race to beat these people to get up here. Uh, they don't have Squire yet. Uh, they're probably Nobleman for sure, but we're about to go ahead and get this uh, Patrician. So now we can go into the next bracket of this. So whenever another spot opens up, we will be running for it. Running and gunning for it. But anyways, up here, everybody. I am respected. Let's slow this down a little bit. Um, hope everybody enjoyed the video. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Have a good one. Goodbye.